Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box for the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's uh, Tuesday the 23rd. These are the charts of the day. It was an interesting day on Wall Street. Uh, market did have a good session until the end of the day when they rolled back a little bit. But there's always stocks making moves. Let's take a look at Audio Eye, which is a big favorite of mine from February through June when it went from mid single digits into the mid 20s. Then took a couple months of pulling back, popping. Like right now, it looks like a big coil has developed and it's near the apex. It popped a dollar seventy-one or eight percent today. This is a thinly traded stock and needs more buying. But if it goes, you might see mid twenties, even low thirties. ASTS, one of my favorites, and a swing, still moving nicely today. Up another one oh seven or eight point four percent. Eight point eight million traded. It's like a stock that has designs of moving higher. Eighteen dollar target. EBS, also a tech trader's ongoing swing, popped, pulled back. We gave a swing on that one in the $4 range, I believe it was. It's now over 12, and my target now is 17. ELYM was just put on the list yesterday as a breakout swing trade. It followed through nicely, or the follow through 90 cents or 11%. Again, a thin stock, but if this does ramp up, 11 and 14 might be targets. Uh, noticed late in the day that Fate Therapeutics, which had popped and pulled back, spiked up. 96 cents to 21 percent on an increase in volume of 3.4 million. Now looking for a move to guess it's a seven and eight and a half. FEIM major breakaway gap on big relative volume. This took out everything going back multiple years, not more than 10. And I'm thinking a swing for the tech traders on this one. My target is 15 and 17. GE, something you don't hear from me often, but I did want to note that today was a significant breakout day. Having gone from 159 three quarters to 177 plus, finishing 171, up eight and a half points or five percent, but more importantly, volume at 17.2 million was one of the biggest in, in years. So this could be ready to move into the 190 200 range. Iridium popped and broke out and pulled back a little bit, still was up 248 or almost 10 percent. Volume was two million, not Huge, but big for that stock, and it closed above the 50 as well in declining tops line. So, so for me, significant enough to give you a target near 32. Mesoblast Blast also popped with a gap. It didn't follow through a lot. It did end up with a gain of 9.5% or 72 cents. The volume picked up a little. It's still a thinly traded stock, but you can see today's volume was one of the biggest in weeks, not months. Picking out the previous high, I'm now looking for 10 and 12. Nanox snapped back beautifully today after holding support and jumped 57 cents for 7.5%. I need to follow through and I need to take out the declining top line. So watch for a move to 9.5 and, and if we get through that, 11. Red Cat with a nice pop a week and a half ago and then a nice week long wedge before today's pop and breakout, gaining 18% on 2.1 million. My follow through targets 2 and 3 quarters and 3.5. And SCRV, which exploded. For two days and then settled back, reversed today from 7.22 to 9.13. And it was a big reversal day, only up 4%, but uh, the overall pattern tells me we may retest the highs near 12.13. And finally, Zep with a pop and perfect two-week coil today started to move. I, I, I have it on the list only because of the formation and the potential power in it. Can go if volume comes in. We, we might see the stock retest 16 and then 20. Let's look at some of the hot stocks at thetechtrader.com. Good night, tech traders.